we were talking about the potential partnership, specifically around digitization of collections. But there's been a concern about the safety of these records because where the park is situated, wildfires, especially in the past few years, have been a, an annual threat. And so it was very much on Ward Eldridge's mind, you know, the long-term safekeeping of these records. And he pointed out that UC Merced is located, is probably in one of the few areas in California that is outside of a high-risk fire zone. Um, and also outside of the risk of earthquake <laughs> threat. And it was just no question that we would do what, whatever we could to bring them here. It really was, it was, the ash and everything, yeah, was falling down. Hundreds of boxes of um, collections um, and, and also those cabinets of, um, of plant specimens and baskets, so artifacts as well. And because the residents in the area were also being called to evacuate, there was just this shortage that he couldn't find a van or a, you know, a truck. And so in the course of a day, we managed to make arrangements. Anyone interested in the history of this very special place, the history of the sequoia trees. And there's, this is the one place where these trees live, understanding, you know, what is it about, what is unique about the environment, the rangers and the interpreters who want to then provide and present that history to the general public, also to scholars who want to really investigate, you know, what does it mean to uh, manage public lands? What's effective in terms of management practices? Well, we're, we're going to work with the Park Service to make sure that they are going to stay safe.